Pupillary Reflexes Chapter 169 Introduction Pupillary reflexes are the visceral reflexes, which alter the size of pupil. Pupillary reflexes are classified into three types, light reflex, ciliaspinal reflex, accommodation reflex, light reflex. Light reflex is the reflex in which pupil constricts when light is flashed into the eyes. It is also called pupillary light reflex. Light reflex is of two types, direct light reflex. Indirect light reflex. Direct light reflex. Direct light reflex is the reflex in which there is constriction of pupil in an eye when light is thrown into that eye. It is also called the direct pupillary light reflex or the direct reaction to light. Indirect light reflex. Indirect light reflex is the reflex that involves constriction of pupil in both eyes when light is thrown into one eye. If light is flashed into one eye, the constriction of pupil occurs in the opposite eye, even though no light rays falls on that eye. It is otherwise called consensual light reflex. Pathway for light reflex. Pathway for light reflex is slightly deviated from visual pathway. Fibers of light reflex pathway and the fibers of visual pathway are the same up to optic tract. Beyond that, these two sets of fibers are separated. When light falls on the eye, the visual receptors are stimulated. Afferent, sensory, impulses from the receptors pass through the optic nerve, optic chiasma and optic tract. At the midbrain level, few fibers get separated from optic tract and synapse on the neurons of pretectal nucleus, which lies close to the superior colliculus. Pretectal nucleus of midbrain forms the center for light reflexes. Efferent, motor, impulses from this nucleus are carried by short fibers to edinger westfall nucleus, parasympathetic nucleus, of oculomotor nerve, third cranial nerve. From edinger westfall nucleus, preganglionic fibers pass through oculomotor nerve and reach the ciliary ganglion. Postganglionic fibers arising from ciliary ganglion pass through short ciliary nerves and reach the eyeball. These fibers cause contraction of constrictor pupillae muscle of iris, Fig 169.1. Reason for consensual light reflex is that, some of the fibers from pretectal nucleus of one side cross to the opposite side and end on opposite Edinger Westfall nucleus. Ciliaspinal reflex. Ciliaspinal reflex is the dilatation of pupil in eyes caused by painful stimulation of skin over the neck. It is due to the contraction of dilator pupillae muscle. Sensory impulses pass through cutaneous afferent nerve. The center is in first thoracic spinal segment. Efferent impulses pass through sympathetic fibers and reach dilator pupillae. Accommodation Definition Accommodation is the adjustment of eye to see either near or distant objects clearly. It is the process by which light rays from near objects or distant objects are brought to a focus on sensitive part of retina. It is achieved by various adjustments made in the eyeball. Mechanism of accommodation. Light rays from distant objects are approximately parallel and are less refracted while getting focused on retina. But, the light rays from near objects are divergent. So, to be focused on retina, these light rays should be refracted, converged, to a greater extent. There are three possible ways by which, accommodation occurs, retina must be moved towards or away from the lens. It is done by shortening or elongation of eyeball. So, the divergent, parallel or convergent rays are focused accurately. This mechanism is present only in some mollusks and not in human beings. Lens must be moved towards or away from the retina. It is done in photography. This mechanism exists in some fishes. Convexity of lens must be altered, so that the refractory power of lens is altered according to the need. This mechanism is present in human eye and it was first suggested by Young and later supported by Helmholtz, Fig 169.2. Young Helmholtz theory. Young Helmholtz theory describes how the curvature of lens increases and thereby, the refractive power of lens is enhanced. When the eyes are fixed on a distant object, distant vision, lens is flat due to the traction of suspensory ligaments, 
which extend from the capsule of lens and are attached to ciliary processes. Ciliary processes are attached to choroid through the ciliary muscle, refer fig 169.1. When vision is shifted from the distant object to a near object, near vision, ciliary muscle contracts and draws the choroid forward. Ciliary processes are brought closer to lens, i.e. these processes form a small circle. Suspensory ligaments are slackened. Now, the tension on lens is released. Lens, due to its elastic property, bulges forward. Anterior curvature, convexity, of lens increases greatly. A very little change occurs in posterior curvature. This can be demonstrated by using purkinje sansen images. In resting eye, the intraocular pressure sets up tension in chaoids and pulls the ciliary processes backward and outward. Suspensory ligaments are tensed up and the lens becomes flat. Purkinje sansen images. Purkinje sansen images are used to demonstrate the change in CONV exity of lens during accommodation for near vision. A subject is made to sit in a dark room. A lighted candle is held in front. One eye is opened and the other eye is closed. Three images of the flame are seen in the opened eye, fig 169.3. First image is upright and bright. It shines from the surface of cornea, which acts as a mirror. Second image is upright, but dim. It is reflected from the anterior convex surface of the lens. Third image is inverted and small. It is formed by posterior surface of the lens, which acts as a concave mirror. When the person looks at a distant object, the second image reflected from anterior surface of lens is near the third image from posterior surface. During accommodation for near vision, no change occurs either in first image or the third image. But, the second image becomes smaller and moves towards the first image. Thus, the increased CONV exity of the anterior surface of lens during accommodation for near vision is evident by the change in the size and the position of second image. Other adjustments in eyeball during accommodation. In addition to increase in anterior curvature of the lens, two more adjustments are made in the eyeball during accommodation for near vision. Convergence of both eyeballs, it is necessary to bring the retinal images onto the corresponding points constriction of pupil, it is necessary to increase the visual acuity by reducing lateral chromatic and spherical aberrations reduce the quantity of light entering eye increase the depth of focus through more central part of lens as its CONV exity is increased. Accommodation reflex. Accommodation is a reflex action. When a person looks at a near object after seeing a far object, three adjustments are made in the eyeballs, convergence of the eyeballs due to contraction of the medial recti constriction of the pupil due to the contraction of constrictor pupillae of iris increase in the anterior curvature of the lens due to contraction of the ciliary muscle. Thus, the accommodation reflex involves both skeletal muscle, medial recti, and smooth muscle, ciliary muscle and sphincter pupillae. During accommodation, all the adjustments are carried out simultaneously. Although accommodation is a reflex action, it can be controlled by willpower to a certain extent. Pathway for accommodation reflex. Afferent pathway. Visual impulses from retina pass through the optic nerve, optic chiasma, optic tract, lateral geniculate body and optic radiation to visual cortex, area 17, of occipital lobe. From here, the association fibers carry the impulses to frontal lobe. Fig 169.4. Center. The center for accommodation lies in frontal eye field, area 8, that is situated in the frontal lobe of cerebral cortex. Efferent pathway. Efferent fibers to ciliary muscle and sphincter papillae. From area 8, the corticonuclear fibers pass via internal capsule to the Edinger Westfall nucleus of third cranial nerve. From here, the preganglionic fibers pass through the third cranial nerve to ciliary ganglion. Postganglionic fibers from ciliary ganglion pass via the short ciliary nerves and supply the ciliary muscle and the constrictor pupillae. Efferent fibers to medial rectus. Some of the fibers from frontal eye field terminate in the somatic motor nucleus of oculomotor nerve. 
The fibers from motor nucleus supply medial rectus. Range and amplitude of accommodation. The farthest point from the eye at which the object can be seen is called far point or punctum remotum. In the normal eye, it is infinite, i.e. at a distance beyond 6 meters or 20 feet. It is limited only by the size of object, clearness of the atmosphere and the curvature of earth. The nearest point from eye at which the object is seen clearly is called near point or punctum proximum. It is about 7 to 40 centimeters, depending upon the age. Distance between far point and near point is called range of accommodation. Since, the focal length of eye is different in near vision and far vision, the refractive power of eye is also altered. The refractive power during far vision is called static refraction, R, and that during near vision is called dynamic refraction, P. The difference between these two refractive powers, P, R, is called amplitude of accommodation, which is expressed in diopter. The refractive power is reciprocal of focal length and the unit for focal length is 1 meter or 100 centimeters. The refractory power is expressed as diopter, D. For example, in a normal eye, if the near point is 10 centimeters, the dynamic refraction is P equals 1 meter slash 10 cm equals 100 cm slash 10 cm equals 10 D. In M tropic, normal, I, since the far point is at infinite distance, the static refraction is taken as zero. Now, amplitude of accommodation equals P, R, equals 10 to zero, equals 10 D. Amplitude of accommodation at different ages. Amplitude of accommodation varies with age. Amplitude of accommodation at different age groups is, 10 years equals 11 D. 20 years equals 9.5 D. 30 years equals 7.5 D. 40 years equals 5.5 D. 50 years equals 2 D. 60 years equals 1.2 D. 70 years equals 1 D. Applied Physiology Argyle Robertson Pupil Argyle Robertson Pupil is a clinical condition in which the light reflex is lost but the accommodation reflex is present. It is common in tertiary syphilis. It also occurs because of lesion in edinger westfall nucleus, diabetes, and alcoholic neuropathy. Horner Syndrome Horner Syndrome is an eye disorder caused by damage to cervical sympathetic nerve. It is also called Bernard Horner Syndrome, Claude Bernard Horner Syndrome or Oculosympathetic Palsy. Symptoms of Horner Syndrome appear on the affected side. The symptoms are, ptosis, drooping of upper eyelid, swelling of lower eyelid, meiosis, abnormal constriction of pupil, anophthalmus, sinking of eyeball into its cavity, absence of sweating on affected side of the face. Presbyopia. In old age, the amplitude of accommodation is decreased and the near point is away from the eye. This condition is called presbyopia. Details are given in Chapter 171.